Here is question number 5 of WIC 2025 for the mathematics examination, the theory questions. The table shows the distribution of weights in newtons of 100 blood donors. You can see the table here and we asked to draw a histogram for the distribution. If you pay close attention to these intervals, you will realize we have different class widths and hence we have to use uh, class intervals as well as frequency density. All right, so we are going to do that here. We have the class boundary. The class boundary, uh, to do that, you have to subtract 0 0.5 from the lower class limit, which is going to make it uh, 54.5. Then you add 0 0.5 here, that will make it 59.5. Do the same thing here, subtract 0 0.5 here, you have 59.5. You add 0 0.5 to the upper class limit, you have 65.5. Continue doing this, we have 65.5 to uh, 71.5. We have 71.5 down to E78.5. Then we have 78.5 down to 86.5. Then 86.5 down to 90.5. All right, we are done with class boundaries. Then we need to calculate class width. Uh, I told you that we have different class width. This is why we are using frequency density. So the class width, it is going to be this minus this, which is going to give us five. This minus this will give us six. This minus this will give us 6 again. This minus this will give us 7. We have 8 and finally we have 4. You see we have different class width. Then the last thing we need to compute here is uh, frequency density. And how can we do that? Let me write the formula. It is equal to the frequency divided by the class width. So what is the frequency of the first one is 18 and its class width is 5. So you take 18, you divide by 5, which is going to give us 3.6. We're going to, I think for me, I'm going to do that in uh, one decimal place. We have 3.6. Then you take the next frequency, which is 5, you divide by 6. That will give you 0 0.8. 20 divided by 6, that will give us 3.3. 22 divided by 7, that will give us 3.1. 27 divided by 8, that will give us 3.4. Uh, lastly, we have 8 divided by 4, that will give us 2.0. All right. So now we are going to draw this histogram, class boundaries against frequency density. All right, already I have everything here. This is how I decided to do that, but you can write class boundaries if you like. I just know that the lower class boundary we have here is 54.5 and the last one, the highest one is 90.5. So I decided to start from 55 down to 95. All right, using uh, two, two centimeters. So the first one from 54.5 to 59.5, we have a frequency density of 3.6. So I would like to locate 3.6 first. You see we have three here, we have 3.5, 3.6. I'm only going to add one line here, you see that? All right, then I need to locate 
the class boundary, which is 54.5. Every two, two small lines will represent one unit. So it will come up to this level. So I'm going to extend it to the top. Something like this. Down to where? Down to 59.5. something like this all right so we are done with the first one then we move to the second one we have from 59.5 down to 65.5 so at 65.5 somewhere here then the frequency density is 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8 is here. All right, we are done with this one. Then we'll move to the next one uh, from 65.5 to 71.5. This is the line, but I need to find out the frequency. The frequency is 3.3. Then I need to extend this one to the top. Something like this. Then we're going to connect the top together. All right. So this is the third one. Then we'll move to the fourth one. The fourth one is from 71.5 down to 78.5, and it has a frequency of 3.1. And the frequency is 3.1. This is 3.1. Something like this. Then move to the next one. 78.5 down to 86.5. This is this is 3.1234. This is 3.4. And the last one from 86.5 to 90.5. This is 90.5, and what is the frequency? The frequency is two. So this is our histogram. If you like, you can shade it. So yeah. This is our histogram. Now let's move on to the other question, which is question number six.